Loco Snake terrorizes marshes, destroys all wildlife, and destroys everything you hold dear. Mord 11. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 18 of Final Fantasy VII. So on the last time with Final Fantasy VII, we explored Calm, got ourselves prepared, and we got ourselves a Chocobo for a little bit. So, I want to show you what happens. Yeah, look at that. The Midgar Zolom be like, What? 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 See, it's technically possible to cross it without a Chocobo, but... I would seriously recommend against it. Because right here, we have the Midgar Zolom. And it's... Very... Deadly. But hey, at least we get to show off Seal Evil. So, basically, this casts silence on every opponent. On every enemy. So, that's good. That is really, really good. And silence can actually be pretty damn good. For those enemies that use more magical attacks. It's not really so good for anybody else because, you know, the Midgar Zolom is just, you know, a deadly, deadly beast. But if you're worried about getting a game over to this guy, don't worry. You're basically free to lose this fight. And, uh, and you won't get a game over because of that. So no need to worry about it. Because, with that soul fact, you'll be booted back here. Even if you lose all your party members. It only just dawned on me that I don't have any Phoenix Downs. Uh. <laughs> well, shoot. <laughs> Wait, unless I have tents, though. No. Boo. So you're telling me I actually have to go across the land with the Midgar Zolom on my ass? Yeah. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I can just, uh... I can just leave the current game without having to... Without having to, you know, do anything, rather. Yay, I'm lazy! <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Shame you only get to see that scene with the big snake once. You know, with Sephiroth killing that said snake. Anyway, this is the Mithril Mines. In here, you can get plenty of items, and oh god, that's a salt in the wound right there, tent. Of course. Jesus. <laughs> now, um, I'm looking for a certain enemy in here. Yes! Right here is... The Arc Dragon. I believe that's what I'm looking for. Yes, Flamethrower. Flamethrower is a new enemy skill. And what I wanted to do, what what I want to do is make sure that Cloud gets hit by the enemy skill. So that we can actually use the skill ourselves. Hopefully this won't uh, kill the Arc Dragon, though. I really need it. And also, I should really take the battle mode off of weight. Okay. Right, we got the Arc Dragon all down like that, and thank you. Thank you very much. And here is Braver. Again, I'm an idiot for not realizing that you need to use not Cross Slash, but Braver. God. When will I ever learn? Okay. So I'm going to now set it to active. Okay. So I got my enemy skill for here. And I believe that's the only one that we can get in the Mithril Mines. Long range material. That will actually be pretty good for Barret. Because the long range material. You get... With it, you can get the same attack power even from the back row. So, that can be pretty good, actually. 
for those for Barrett because, you know, he is a long-range fighter using a machine gun. And because with any any party members that have great physical strength, uh, they can do the same damage even from the back row and take less damage because they're in the back row. So that's awesome. Mind Source. That source is an item that raises spirit. So... Let's give it to Aerith. You know, why not? Might as well. And also, I'll totally remember to get some Phoenix Downs whenever I can. Uh, you know what? Let's just magic ourselves up back to full strength. Okay, so... Let's get interrupted again. And uh, this time, we have... Madugs! I believe they have an item that's well worth your time to steal. The Grand Glove! That's a weapon for Tifa, or... Yeah, that's a weapon for Tifa. And, oh! So, you see Cloud and Aerith just glowing dark like that? Yeah, that basically means they're inflicted with darkness. So now, their regular attacks will not connect as much. But the good thing is, we learned Flamethrower, so that doesn't require anything. Now keep in mind, darkness only affects your regular attacks, not magic attacks. Alright, so... Next time we're Tifa, we're definitely going to equip that. I don't believe there's any... Yeah, I don't believe there's anything else... No, there isn't. All right. Just a second. I hoped I never see you again. Don't you know who I am? Eh, I don't really care. I'm from the Turks, and don't you forget it. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. Sir! It's alright, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. Then explain, Elena. I'm the newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short-handed. But because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. Anyhow, our job is to find where Sephiroth is headed. And to try to stop you every step of the way. Wait a minute, it's the other way around. You're the ones that are getting in our way. Elena, you talk too much. Mr. Sung? No need to tell him about our orders. Sorry, Sung. I thought I gave your orders. Now go, and don't forget to follow your report. Oh, right. Very well. Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's heading for Dunon Harbor. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh! I'm... I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, yes sir! sir! Reno said he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Well, then. Aerith. Long time no see. Looks like you're safe from Shinra for a while, now that Sephiroth reappeared. What are you saying? Sh that I should be grateful to Sephiroth? No. I won't be seeing much of you, so take care. Strange, hearing that from you. Well then, stay out of Shinra's way.
God, I love the Turks. Ah! I was just saying, like, I love the Turks, man. Their theme is great, and all their characters are really wonderful, too. All right, I'm still inflicted with darkness. All right, going over here, get a treasure chest that contains an elixir. And over here, you get an item with the high potion. Damn, look at that. That looks cool, not gonna lie. Uh. All right, I should probably mention the Crawlers. They cast Cold Breath on you, which doesn't really do a whole lot. And the Arc Dragons, once again, they have the enemy skill known as Flamethrower. Which can actually be pretty good if you if you really, really want to grind up them limits. Alright, come on, Aerith. You gotta use your healing wind, buddy. <laughs> saying you got to use that healing wind and not you know seal evil or anything because even though that's pretty good in silencing opponents it's not really good for grinding up limit breaks i have to i have to embed this in my mind right now like like idiot do the thing that it properly says to do idiot <laughs> well, Red hasn't killed any enemies yet, so I guess we'll do that. And there we go. Problema solved. Blade Beam! Yeah! <laughs> Cloud finally has his level 2 limit break. So whenever you gain a new level limit break, you need to set it. However, once you do, your limit gauge will reset. We'll definitely make use of Blade Beam soon enough. <laughs> Man, I, I gotta say, like, Tifa's limit breaks or usage of limit breaks might be my favorite, but Clouds are just way too awesome, man. That's just how we do. That's just how Cloud do. Now that play seems pretty important, but before we go on with that, though... Well, actually... No, because I do want to actually go over here. Because it's a town. We've been fighting the Shinra on this battlefield for a long time. We've, we've settled in for a long war with them. Could you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, but if you're busy or something, why don't you finish that up first? Well, I know where Junon is, so... Or Junin. Yeah, Junin. Junin Harbor. I, I don't really know. I'm just going to say Junin. I, yes. Anyway, I'm only accepting help for these guys because I want to go into, because I want to go into town because I know there's a shop in here. Yeah, I know there's, I know there's like a shop in here and a place to rest. So I want to make sure I do that before moving on. Because there's something in this area that I want to get really badly, and, uh... Let's just say... It could take some time. Now, this is something. Never thought I would anyone would climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shinra. You better get down before you get involved. What do you mean, a battlefield? The Shinra. It appears you have a problem with Shinra, too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? Well, I guess we can humor him. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? A huge bird. The reactor and the condor. That's right. On that mountain is a condor and a reactor. It seems Shinra doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Why? It's not very logical. It seems there's some type of special materia in the reactor above us. And because the Condor came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the Condor and all the villagers off this mountain. The Condor is now warming its egg, which only hatches once every few years. 
We would like to protect the condor from being harmed. New lives. We must protect the condor egg, right? So, to protect the egg, are you going are you going to protect the reactor? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we've hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with a contribution or fighting alongside uh, alongside of us. Fight by fighting alongside of us. That of should be removed. What do you think? You want to join us in our fight? Cloud, why are you still worrying about it? You decide what we're going to do. Well, we're not really interested right now. What a jerk. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aerith. Aerith. Oh, my God. <laughs> All I said was no, man. Like, I... I Jesus. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, man. I, I, I'm, I, I have no Phoenix Downs. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, so this is basically this inn is basically all we're gonna get apparently. Or at least I hope it's in it. Well, it's a it's technically a save point, so I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah, we might as well prepare for the worst. By the way, this place is called Fort Condor, by the way. Alright, so let's move on. Uh so I would recommend and or suggest you go into a forest. You know, no particular reason. Just try to have, you know, some random encounters in the forest. I swear to God, this is the first try. No, it isn't. Okay. You'll be seeing these enemies a lot. These are formulas. They deal a lot of damage. And they're not particularly good for that if you're not prepared to heal or anything like that. So, ugh. <laughs> so yeah, you just basically pre be prepared to have a tough time with them. I didn't mean to use flamethrower, by the way. I was just... Trying to look up some notes on what I should do for this next part because this next part you're gonna have to get some questionnaires, let's just say. Alright, use your limit, and I'll have Aerith use uh, that thing. That healing wind thing. You know, next time, because, yeah. Anyway, keep on going with the random encounters in a forest. Any forest around the world map will do, by the way. And eventually, you'll get something cool. Not these enemies, no doubt. So, these are the Kappa Wires. They deal a lot of damage! <laughs> They deal a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. So, yeah. Again, these guys can be pretty good for limit break grinding. However, at the state that you are, you probably, probably don't want to mess with them. So, just beware of that. If they kill your healer, that's it. Yeah, see? They deal, like, well over 100 damage, which is pretty decent a limit gauge uh, filling. However, a decent little Matra Magic will do you some good. Cloud gets a level up to 18. Right, so keep on doing this until you eventually... Wait, I should probably heal. Wait around in the forest until you eventually find your man. So, uh, remember how I said that the Midgar Zolom won't boot you back to the game over? Yeah, that was a big fat lie. Uh, my situation is that 
Aerith is dead. And now Red is dead. Redemption. And, um... Help. <laughs> I have no Phoenix down. I want everybody to be alive. And Fort Condor doesn't have anything to sell. So, I'm just going to try to make it out of here. Yeah, even the random encounters thing doesn't work because it's all fixed. This encounter is all fixed. So, that is really, really, really unfortunate. Actually, no, my situation is going to change right here. I don't believe any story progress is going to be made even if we do make it to Junon Harbor. Or Junin Harbor or whatever. So I'm basically just gonna bite the sour apple and just be like all like right here. What happened to this town? It's so run down. Yeah, not really much in the way of story progress, thankfully. So I can just basically buy my Phoenix Downs at like the item shop uh, at the item shop and then I'll be good jeez oh man <laughs> yeah like I my my situation right there was just basically screwed <laughs> it was it was it was definitely something it's definitely a uh, thing wait hold on does uh does Junon even have an item store. What kind of place is it? Who are you people? Where'd you come from? Did you see a man in a black cape? Hmm, I never seen that fella before. Okay, good. Uh is this it? Please let this be it, because I really I really need my things. I mean, it's a house, but uh, really, no, no item store. Really, no item store. Really? Oh wait, unless the weapon shop has, 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 has stuff. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank God, I can just buy all the Phoenix Downs I want, and I won't have any, 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 any regrets probably. Then I can just basically run myself dry with, uh, all that. Thank God! <laughs> I'm not running into any enemies, man. Like, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm only gonna run into enemies in the forest, man. Alright, so continuing on. Oh, before I forget. Here's Blade Beam in action. As you can see, it targets one enemy, but also actually not. Because it attacks other enemies as well. So that's awesome. Now with that, Cloud has to kill more enemies in order to get his second level two limit break. Boy, if you don't- Oh, oh, yeah! Finally found you, faker! All right, Lunatic High, let's go. It casts haste and defense up plus. Ooh, we deal with the mystery ninja now, boys. Red's almost dead. <laughs> okay, so I basically have the lowest chances possible of encountering this girl. So, the earliest possible chance you can fight this this girl is 12.5%, uh, I believe. So, she can do a whole bunch of things, but that's not really important. The, point, the important thing is, you kick her ass. However, that's not all. Talk to her right away. Man, I can't believe I lost. You spiky-headed jerk! One more time! Let's go one more time! 
Not interested. This is a step you have to take, by the way. Thinking of running away? Stay and fight! Fight, I said! Come on, what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. Hm, <laughs> just as I thought. What do you expect of my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. If you feel up for it, we can go another round. Later. I'm gonna leave. I mean it. Wait a second. What is it? You still have something for me? Hmm. So, is that it? Uh, I know you want my help because I'm so good. You want me to go with you? That's right. <laughs> Thought so. You put me in a spot. Hmm, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse. All right, I'll go with you. Let's hurry. Hey, huh? Hey, hey! Wait! I haven't told you my name. I accidentally did it with a plus. Yeah, close enough. But no. This is your first optional party member. Yuffie. Not Yuffie. Yuffie. I'm Yuffie. Good to meet you. That save point was a trap, by the way. <laughs> Just as planned. Now all I have to do is a little this and a little that. Nyak, nyak, nyak. Hey, wait up! Wait for me! You can encounter Yuffie in any forest around the world. As you get further and further into your adventure... Uh, she will appear more... She'll have the chance of appearing more often in forests. The lowest possible chance is 12.5%, I believe, in the Junin area. So, yeah, we got a brand new party member in tow in the form of Yuffie, the ninja, the thief, if you will. And what she comes equipped with is the throw materia. So with that, you'll be able to throw weapons. You know how in the earlier Final Fantasy games where technically thieves can, you know, throw things? Or was it some other class? It was probably thief last time I remembered. Uh, so that particular class that I mentioned, they can throw stuff, you know, like weapons and stuff. And Yuffie can throw such weapons. You know, old weapons that you don't really need anymore, you know? So, yeah. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Anyway, we've done a lot, so we're going to stop here. So on the next time with Final Fantasy VII, we see what Yuffie is capable of, and we return to Junin in order to move on with the story. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching, and good morning. Oh yeah, and also I didn't do my limit grinding up screen, so I'm sorry about that. I totally lied.